We're, no, we're now joined by the University of Dayton. We have sophomore Makaira Cook, senior Jenna Giacconi, and head coach Shauna Green. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Green, and then we will take all questions for student athletes. We will then dismiss the student athletes, and we'll take questions for Coach. So, Coach Green. Now, just credit Georgia. They came out, and, and I thought their their size, the physicality, um, you know, disrupted a, a lot of what we were trying to do. Um, and, and, you know, they, they out-rebounded us by uh, 17, which we knew was key coming in. We had to be able to not beat them on the boards, but at least, you know, at least be there with them on the boards because they just their size across the board, um, you know, was a concern. Um, and, and, you know, they're big, and, and they did their job with 48. Uh, we did a good job really taking care of the basketball. We won that battle. You know, we lost the paint battle, which is important to us. Um, but, you know, with that being aside, just so proud of our players and, and you know, for the season we've had, uh, for the seniors and their career that they've had, you know, with Jenna being here six years, we have a couple who've been here five years, the commitment, the investment to the program. I said it, I think, in our first press conference, you know, with their COVID year, they, the seniors could have went anywhere in the country because they're all really good players. And they decided to come back and, and represent and play for Dayton and, and play with their team. And, and I think that that says a lot about you know, Dayton and, and our culture, and more importantly, what these kids are made of. And, and they came back and they had a goal to, to get to the NCAA tournament, and, and they got here. And this whole team, uh, I told them in the locker room, obviously, um, by the looks of my eyes, it was not a, a fun conversation, but, you know, just how proud I am. And, and it's about the journey. And this is a special, special group that we have been through so much. And this entire team, um, they fought, they fought till the end, and that's just who they are. So could not be more proud of this entire group. And they're just, just for me, they're going to hold a special place in my heart because they're just, they're an unbelievable group. And I'm going to miss them, miss the seniors like crazy. Okay, we'll now take questions for the student athletes. We'll go to Brandon first. Uh, Brandon Sodge with Aiton uh, Daily News. Uh, Jenna, I mean, I can kind of see it in your eyes, but you guys had an amazing year. Can you take me into the um, uh, emotions right now of being in that Dayton uniform for the last time and everything it meant to play for this program um, over the last uh, six years? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not the way we wanted today to go, but kind of to re reiterate everything that Coach Green said, um, I obviously made the choice to come back for my six years, uh, six year, and had a whole list of goals, but making it to the tournament was one of them and getting a win two, three was, you know, the next goal. We were able to prove ourselves the other night against a very good Big East school um, and then just came up short tonight, but couldn't be more proud of, you know, the whole entire team for fighting and battling every single day throughout this entire season. Um, you know, I'll be able to reflect on the memories, uh, hopefully in a couple of days here, but just like I said, just couldn't be more proud of this entire team. Um, to be able to come out, battle, make it to the NCAA tournament, um, respond from last year. It was just a great, fun senior official year for me. And no regrets in terms of coming back or any any decision I made with that. And then, uh, Kyra, I mean, you obviously had a huge offensive night, but um, can you speak on how Georgia made things difficult for you guys both in the paint and then also – um, scoring in high position um, and how it did? Um, I feel like Georgia, they were pretty handsy. Um, they mucked it up a little bit on certain things. Uh, yeah, I feel like we just kind of had a uh, – the ball didn't really fall to our favor tonight. And then, uh, and, uh, I mean, obviously with having oh my Gossa out, it was so huge for you guys the other night. Um, you guys kind of had some issues with stopping uh, Georgia inside the paint. I mean, how did you guys kind of come into this game with thinking what you guys had to do to come out uh, with a win here? Yeah, I mean, obviously losing T, um, you know, not, not nothing that any of us wanted to happen. But, you know, we all had the utmost confidence in, you know, the rest of our bigs. Uh, we have a lot of them. Um, Mariah and Brynn, they came in and they battled. Um, very proud of both of them. They're both going to be coming back. That was huge minutes for them as players just to experience, you know, guarding guarding Georgia Biggs. Um, and hopefully we'll just motivate them going to this offseason. 
um, to continue to work, continue to get stronger. Um, so when they are in this position, because they will be um, a year from now, like it's going to be a different result. But yeah, like I said, obviously no one wants to lose T. Um, and you know, prayers for her for a quick recovery. But I'm very proud of all the bigs and how they responded with that quick turnaround loss. And the last thing I have, uh, like Kyra, I mean, you just kind of take me into your emotions as well of getting yourself to this point and having the run that y'all had and uh, just being able to experience uh, the NCAA uh, tournament as well. Well, firstly, um, this has just been amazing. This was our goal as a team. Uh, it's been great to be able to play in this tournament and to win a game in it and to dominate in the game that we did play in it. But mostly, like, my emotions right now, I'm just really happy that I got to play under these, the super seniors and like the regular seniors that we had. It was just like a really good time overall. They took us all under their wing. Coming in my class, it was five freshmen. And I mean, we're all completely different girls. So like they had a lot on their plate, but I feel like it was just a great experience. Like I wouldn't have wanted to learn under anybody else. We'll go to the third row. Yep. And then Jenna in six years, obviously a lot of experiences, but do you have a message to your, your coaches, all your teammates, all the support staff, and, and just your time at Dayton? Yeah, I mean, I can't say thank you enough to obviously my coaches and Coach Green and the support staff and Dayton administration, the entire University of Dayton, city of Dayton, just being, you know, a girl from New York, didn't know what Dayton was when I was recruited in high school, but fell in love with the place as soon as I stepped foot on campus. Um, and then obviously, you know, the six years was in ups and downs, battles, different battles every single um, day, year, um, six different teams, uh, res six different results. But looking back and reflecting, like, could not be more thankful for my decision to not only commit at Dayton, but stay here all six years um, with the coaching staff that I had. Coach Green is my head coach, multiple assistant coaches over the years, and then obviously, tens of teammates. Uh, I don't even know how many there was. Um, but <laughs> friendships and relationships with every single person that I crossed paths with at the University of Dayton. Um, and forever blessed and thankful for that. All right, we'll now move to remote. If you have a question for the student athletes, please use the raise hand function. It looks like that's all we have for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Thank for your you. Time. Thank you. Okay, we will now take uh, any questions for Coach Green. We'll go here to the front. Um, Coach, I mean, you touched on it earlier, and obviously, I mean, it's an emotional, uh, emotional night with um, exiting the tournament. But how does this serve as a launching point, and how proud are you of how you guys got here and got an NCAA tournament? When? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I've, I've told them I could have sat in there for probably two hours and, and just can, in a million different ways, tell them how much I love them, how proud I am of them, how much I'm going to miss them, but they don't want to hear that, so, and, and I would have been crying the whole time, so, uh, I just, I said, it's, you know, I've been coaching now almost 20 years, I had so many different, every year is a journey, every year is different, different, co you know, coaches, support staff, you know, players, and, and this is just a special group, but I think it's because of all the stuff we've been through, right? So when, when you've been through a lot together and a lot of adversity and a lot of people may not even know a lot of the stuff we've been through, um, and, and they just kept believing. They, they believed, they were committed, they never wavered in anything. And I said this year, like, we really, we had no drama. It was just fun. It was, they were a fun group to be around. And, and they were so focused on, on the goal and the task at hand. Every time that we had a rough game and we lost, we would bounce back and go on a, on a streak. And we only lost six. So um, just, just incredibly proud uh, to, to have coached them and, um, and what they have done uh, on this journey, this, this team together. And then, I mean, kind of on the game itself, I mean, um, I felt like the sequence at the end of the third, I mean, you guys had the chance to cut it to six, and uh, Georgia hit that layup yeah. to the buzzer. I mean, how, how crucial was that there? Yeah, we, we went on a little run there, right? And, and you're right, that was, that was big. And, um, you know, we missed the layup, and then they ran out. We went a little too early on, on, our, on the, the play. But again, that's that's the ball was in a sophomore's hand, and she's gonna learn from that. You know, it was in Makira's hand, and um, 
it, it, she did everything she was supposed to do when the ball just happened to land in Georgia and they got her they got to run out and you know that's part of the game uh, the ball bounces your way some days and some days it doesn't but they kept fighting we came out strong it was back and forth uh, you know it was really it came down to I mean they shot 30 free throws we shot four they only made one more field goal than us um, and and you know free throws and, and rebounds were the name of the game in this. We, we fouled too much, and, and we didn't do a good enough job boxing out, which we've hung our hat on all year. And then with uh, having uh, Magatha out, I mean, with everything she did for you guys yeah. the other night, it had to be huge. Yeah. Uh, what was kind of the timetable of when y'all knew that she wouldn't be able to go, and then how did George's advantage on, on the inside kind of, uh, kind of change yeah. everything with her out? I mean, we have the, the great thing about this team is we have multiple bigs. So it wasn't like we, you know, we lost T and then we had to go with a six one or six foot. So we had we had the size, but you know, we played we played a freshman that hasn't played that many minutes because she's playing behind T and Mariah. And I thought Brent played she played very well and, and she got shots that she makes every day in practice. Um, so it, it'll be good minutes for those two. But obviously, without T in, in, in the floor, it's a huge difference. And especially when you're going up against a team that's playing 6'5 and then another 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, I mean, probably couldn't have been a worse game to not have T, but that's life, right? Like I told I told our team, like, it's life. Like, is it fair? Is it, does, is it disappointing? Is it unfortunate it's everything it's everything but it is life and and I'm proud of Mariah and Bryn and 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 they gave everything they could give and you know if we had tea yeah it would have been a little bit nicer to have another six six body you know have a six six body out there but again it, nothing you can't do anything about it um and then like in terms of Georgia's defense I mean you guys were Trying to get in from deep the other night, six of eighteen tonight. How did Georgia's defense kind of take you guys out of that and uh, make it hard offensively? Yeah, I just think, like I said, I mean, they get up and they pressure, and then the physicality of them and their length—it's uh, a little bit different, you know. Uh, but I also thought we had some clean looks and we didn't make some of those. And the other night we made them. So when the ball goes in, it's a little bit different. Um, some of them were tough shots, but then some of them, you know, we had clean looks and, and we didn't hit. So, uh, you know, I just think the physicality and, and the length did bother us some. The last thing I had, um, uh, well, like on Georgia's side with uh, Holly Shed, she's somebody who hasn't really mm -hmm. played for them in a couple of months. I mean, how did she kind of make things difficult with her kind of instant impact there in the second quarter? Yeah, you're right on that because she hasn't played. So in Scout, we're like, you know, she hasn't played. We don't know if she'll be available. Then, you know, again, it's kind of one of those just unfortunate unfortunate things. Our T was not available, and then she gets healthy. And now you have two big kids when we're a little bit undersized and not as experienced. And it, she, I mean, give her credit because I don't, I don't know what was wrong with her or injury or whatever, but she came in and, and she played extremely well, 15 points, seven of 13 shooting um, in 14 minutes. She was she was very efficient in her minutes. Yep, we'll go to the third row. And then coach, as these seniors move into the next chapter of their careers, um, what is your message to them and what do you hope they take away from their time at Dayton? You know, I told them in there, uh, I want them to take away just everything that we preach every day and, and that's to do things the right way, uh, be, work as hard as you possibly can work, treat people the right way. Uh, it's very simple. You know, if you work hard, you treat people right, um, you, you look in the mirror when you make mistakes and you just keep working and get better every single day, um, you know, usually you're going to have success. And, and that's what this group has done. Uh, I don't have, I never had to worry about them. You know, they, I knew they were committed. I, I knew they were workers and they're just good people. And, and when you're, when you're, you have those characteristics, they are going to be so successful. And I think they've learned that they've learned how to deal with adversity. They've learned how to bounce back when things don't go their way. Um, they've learned how to work together and be leaders because they've all grown in their leadership. There's so many things that they've grown on and, and, and just who they are that whatever any of those seniors do, all five of them, they're going to have just an extreme amount of success. There's no doubt in my mind.
All right, we'll move to remote. If you have a question, please use the raise hand function. Coach Green, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. A recording of this press conference will be available in the NCAA.